All right guys, welcome back. Luis here from Green Zebra Gardening. I wasn't planning on making this video, but I had to just because there's so much cool stuff. Anyway, I know I've mentioned them before in my previous videos, but Long Beach Mushrooms out here in Long Beach, um, they sell to Farmer's Market. I have their weekly subscription box, 20 bucks a week. And you go down to their shop, pick up a box of one pound of mushrooms. This last one, he hooked us up for the end of the year and made it two pounds. Uh, but that's unusual, just holiday or whatever. You want to be a nice guy. And Justin and Mia, love you guys. Anyway, he has the spent substrate bricks available for pickup pretty much every Saturday. So you can go down there, I think starting at 8 in the morning, 8 to 10 or 8 to 11. Basically the same time, right around the same time I'm there to pick up my box. Anyway, he has a substrate box. Oh, sorry, the substrate bricks that he grows the mushrooms in after he gets his first flush. I know I've shown you guys and I've done videos including it in the compost and whatnot. Anyway, I picked some up, I don't know, a few weeks ago. I threw them into my gorilla cart. Let me flip this around and show you. Anyway, I had this in the gorilla cart, not sponsored. I had a bunch of bags and these are the bricks. And so these didn't have anything extra growing on them but these did. So these four bricks had a massive harvest and that doesn't even include the ones that are, are still on there just because they're kind of small. Uh, this one actually, they're kind of smashed up because they were in bags. I took them off, it's been raining a lot. And so that cart got full of water. Um, I took a picture of it before I dumped it out but I think it's in vertical mode. I'll see if I can pop it on the screen. But check out all the mushrooms I got out of those essentially four bricks and I still have more coming up. Check this out. These are freaking gorgeous. I still have most of the box from la uh, from Saturday from almost a week ago and I just harvested all these. I want to say these are chestnuts. Don't quote me on that. Uh, but I will go ahead and talk to Justin and see what they are but I think these are chestnuts. If not, uh, regardless, I'm gonna put something on the screen somewhere on here to tell me what it, that's gonna tell you what it is. Cause obviously I'm gonna be editing this after I talk to him. At any rate, this is freaking insane. That's really all this video is about, is just the amount of mushrooms. Uh, so they were sitting in the gorilla cart over here full of water, basically more than halfway. Cause I don't know if it, the roof leaks or if it was just sticking out enough outside to where it was getting, cause we've gotten a lot of rain lately. And so like the bottom half of these, actually almost the whole thing up to like here, this is all soaked, it's all wet. And because it's been really cool as far as the weather, the temperatures have been nice and cool for us, nice and low, uh, everything's just exploded. So I'm gonna let them sit up here and just dry out. Uh, but I'm gonna need some recipes. If anybody's got any recipes, link them down below. Um, drop it in the comments. Go ahead and also drop a like, drop a subscribe. Drop those recipes if you have any, any ideas, anything that you might have thought about before, throw them in there. Hell, I may try them all because, uh, yeah, like I said, this doesn't include the stuff I already have in the fridge. Uh, I don't have a lot, maybe a couple, I have about a gallon's worth, I think. So, because I, I chopped them up, most of them were oysters. I have one bag that's lion's mane, which I kind of want to make chicken, like chicken nuggets out of them. That's over on the website. That's the other thing, because I've been getting the one pound every week from them for me and Justin for the $20 I'll link their website down below with the uh, subscription with their website rather that way you guys can go over and check out the website and see what it's about and maybe if you're local to Long Beach they uh, they will go ahead and message you or email you I guess I already know where it is but if you're a new subscriber go ahead and then shoot them over an email or I think in the email it gives you the address to go pick it up at any rate Pickup is every Saturday, 8 to 10 a.m. Go in there, they'll check you off. You, depending on how early you get there, depends on what your selection is as to which boxes. But the boxes are all, if I remember, I'll drop in some photos here. Um, it's got oysters, it's got these, it's got oysters in different colors. I mentioned earlier we had lion's mane, so we have lion's mane. But anyway, I'll go ahead and drop their info below. If anything, if you want some of the substrate, go down there and pick it up on Saturdays. I know lately there's been somebody that's been picking up most of it, so there's not a ton left. So if you want it, you gotta get there early, uh, basically right at eight o'clock, I guess, because somebody's been coming by the truck and picking it up. I didn't actually, I brought out the knife. I didn't actually have to use it to cut the mushrooms. I just kind of pulled them back and they snapped right off. 
but I really only use the the uh, knife to cut the plastic actually the plastic bags that they're in I've already dumped them out so I don't have them to show you but if you go through my Instagram feed you can probably see them actually this specific one I think from a few weeks ago I'll link that below I'm also gonna link like I said the Long Beach Mushrooms website so you guys can go over and sign up if you're local or you can also and you can also follow them on Instagram but like I said hit me with those uh, recipes hit me with the like hit me with the subscribe hit that bell notification I know I've been kind of quiet it's the winter I may do an update video on the garden itself it's been raining a lot so everything's looking pretty good I just went in a little bit ago to dump stuff out dump the water out of the containers that's really why I wanted to check this uh, gorilla cart to make sure that there was nothing you know that there was no water in it but I got lots of mushrooms and I dumped out a bunch of water but anyway um, I think that's it let me swap swing you guys around here Okay, so excuse the hair. I, I know I look a mess, but like I said, I wasn't planning on making this video and there's no reason for me to get all dressed up and, you know, I showered this morning, but I didn't do anything with my hair. Like, it's just all over. Anyway, so go ahead and uh, if you have, again, if you have any recipes or any recommendations for these, I'm thinking these are the more delicate ones. I'm thinking, I know these that will definitely go on a pasta. Ooh. These will definitely go on a pasta because we love them with pasta. These are the more tender ones, but I may actually also include them in with the oyster mushrooms and make a mushroom cream of mushroom soup that i have up on the website and that's the other thing i'm gonna link my website down below i believe it's already linked there but i'll put it at the top directly specifically for the recipes page i have i think three or four recipes on there i have the mushroom chili i have the cream of mushroom and then i have the air fried ones which is basically you know just like you would batter and you know do the the flour or whatever throw them in the air fryer throw them in the deep in the deep fryer whatever and they're fantastic but go over to the website check out the recipes leave me comments with recipes if you have any and i'm gonna quit rambling and head inside because it's kind of cold out here all right catch you guys on the next one peace